Hello YouTube, this is Dynamic FA. So many people ask me about uh, how to do the actual simulation on the Love Studio. So today, from today, I'm going to make the Love Studio simulation course uh, from the scratch. Hopefully, you guys understand this course and follow me until you get the proper simulation project in your Lobo Studio. Let's get into the course. Okay, I have opened the Lobo Studio and then the first thing we need to do, uh, click modeling, then you can see solid. Solid is very, very, very useful for uh, like making simple tooling or table or whatever. Something you can, uh, you can do something visualize. Okay, let's get into the, click the triangle, then you can see few different things over uh, the solid here. Uh, let's try first on box. Okay, then it shows a few uh, point. It says corner point and orientation and length, width, height. So let's make the uh, the cube. Okay, I'm going to use zero x x axis 0, y axis 0, and z axis 0. And orientation all 0. And then I'm, I just want to add uh, length 100 and width 100 and height 100. And then if you click create, then you can see the the cube here. Okay, so like this. This this distance one hundred, one hundred, and also height one hundred. So, if you want to make the uh, cube on the center, then uh, let's delete this part first. Delete the cube, current cube, and create. So you want to make it cube on the the zero 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 position uh, is center then that means you need to uh, do x you need to do right 50 and 50 same I'm, I'm going to draw same size of q and then z is uh, same as 100 as before 100 and 100 and 100 but it's not center of the 0 comma 0 position so uh, this is my mistake you better put minus and minus and you create then the cube will be on the exactly uh, center 0, 0 0.0 0, 0 uh, position is here, exactly center of the cube. So you can you can change. Once you create, you can change. You you're not able to change the number, but uh, if when you create, you have to get the proper number and proper position. The reason why I do this, uh, this is very important. This is a uh, zero position of the parts. So when you attach these parts onto the robot, 
this position, this, this zero position will be the, the center position of the uh, T axis. Okay, this is uh, how you use. So, also you can use different coordination. UCS, uh, UCS is user coordinate system, but uh, now I'm, I'm going to use only uh, world. And then let's keep going to next one. Solid and box three point. You can, uh, let's, okay, so once you create part, you can do, uh, turn the visual off, then you're not able to see. This is very handy. Sometimes you design in the same position, then you can just uh, make it in invisible and then you design the second thing. Uh, okay, let's keep going. The corner, corner point. The corner point, so it had three corner point. Uh, so like uh, the uh, first one is three, uh, three X. It has all X, Y, Z. Uh, value and the second x and y and then uh, z because z is basically if you have two two corner it, you can you can draw uh, the the box but um this one uh, divided uh, like a three point. Okay, let's have a, uh, let's have a try. Let, let's, let's try. It's, uh, I'm going to pick first corner, first corner, uh, minus, minus, oops, minus 50, minus 50, and zero. Okay, and then I'm going to this add this one fifty, and then fifty and one hundred. This means this is same size of part two, because this one here starting x axis x x distance start from minus fifty to fifty. That means actual distance is between these two points is one hundred. And y x is always the same. Uh, minus starting from minus fifty to uh, plus fifty. That means the deep, uh, distance between those two is one hundred. And also start from zero. It's a z axis start from zero and finish at one hundred. That means uh, the distance also one hundred. So I made it. You can see like this here, it hasn't finished there. So if I extend distance says 200, okay, then create, then like this. So using three point is the same, like it's very simple depending on you. So how you draw. So you can use uh, like a, a two fixed point or you, or choose one point and then set the distance x, y, z. Yeah. You can use uh, uh, which, whichever way you choose. So this one here, okay, again. Uh, let's see, this time let's see, uh, cone, okay. Cone, yeah, cone is also very some, sometimes very handy. So you can you can make a like a tool or whatever something uh, like a sort of a, um, like a TCP. Very easy easy way to showing the TCP, and also you can just like a. Um, the welding gun, you can show the at the end of the welding gun or something like a, those kind of two uh, very uh, like a simple drawing. 
Okay, let's have a look here. Base point. Okay, let, let me uh, invisible. Okay, so here. Okay, so this one X, Y, Z. Okay, I'm going to leave it to all X, 0, Y, 0, Z, 0. And then radius. Radius, you can use radius or uh, diameter. So you can choose whatever you want. So I'm thinking to use uh, radius 20. Then diameter automatically calculated to 40. So, and also height. Height, I'm thinking to go probably 200. And you create. Then you can see here. Yeah. So it's very easy way you can create and then you can put this one attached to the robot and then you can see, uh, you can use uh, this one as a tool. Uh, later I'm going to show you how to create a tool with uh, this uh, this kind of solid. Okay and also you can uh, okay let me make it invisible so I'm going to do same thing this one uh, 20 and uh, 100 uh, 200 200 and then you can see here but uh, this is orientation I didn't explain about this in the uh, uh, in during I creating the box, but this one is very handy. Like uh, when you to make a tool, then it's not uh, if the angle is not that you want, then you just tilt it angle. Here, look at this. This one here. I can make it 45 like this. That means uh, always in the Robo Studio, uh, red color is X, X, X axis. And green is Y axis. Blue is Z axis. So this one here, so the X axis here. So we tilted, we give the angle uh, of x-axis then and 45 from here to there like a turning like that way uh, following like a around the around the x-axis so uh, I can test it uh, back to zero and then let's see y-axis y if I give uh, uh, angle 45, then uh, uh, sorry, I have already created, uh, make it invisible, same thing. Uh, 200 so like this this time is the cone rotated around uh, y-axis so uh, if we do uh, z-axis 45 degree then nothing gonna happen because this z-axis turning like that way the cone is uh, uh, like it's symmetric but this one is doesn't change any shape okay so that's how you create create the cone okay, uh, invisible
and solid again cylinder cylinder is the same uh, cylinder a base point this is uh, the bottom center point of the circle and then orientation same thing x y z this is uh, okay and then this one is uh, radius same as cone and height so okay uh let's test this so if i move 50 50 and Twenty and one of them. Then create. Okay, this is the the, the cylinder di diameter twenty meter, twenty milli, and height one hundred millimeter. Okay, and next one. Solid pyramid. Okay, pyramid is same. We do center. 0 0.0.0 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, x y z and then center corner okay 20 okay and then height 200 okay you can change the number of size maybe 6 then can see like this six number of side or four or three even so you can create create like this and the same thing like you want to tilt rotating the angle like this and create okay then you can things here yeah. okay then next Spear, the spear is very, 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 very simple. You, you just get the center point, wherever you want, and then diameter. And create, yeah, something like this. This is what we have done today. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoy this video and hopefully it could be helpful to you, to your project. And I will see you next video. Thank you so much. See you next time. Bye.